Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how we can read coil status of our Morbus serial device in the node read. Okay. Now in this video, instead of coil status, we want to read the input coil status or you can say discrete input or you can say input status of Morbus serial device in the node read. Then how we can do that? Okay. So here is my Morbus simulator. Okay, I can simulate my input status using uh, this option input status and you can see first and last input status is uh, you know simulating by its own. Okay, now we want to read this uh, input coil status data in the node read then how we can do that. So we can go to node read we can copy our previous flow okay uh, which we have used to read the coil status. So instead of coil status now we are going to read the input status. So here I'm going to change read input coil status okay and here in the function code we have to select read input status and the quantity we are going to read is 8 the starting address is 0 the poll rate is 1 second and server is the same one which we have used from last three videos node read mode by serial master and if you click here on the pencil then you will see the configuration or connection parameter that we are going to connect on the com2 the serial type is rtu buffer Board rate is 9600, data bits 8, stop bit 1 and the parity none. Everything is same from the last three videos. Okay, and the type is serial experts. So you don't have to change anything here as long as you are communicating with one device. Okay, so leave these things as it is. If you are going to communicate with another device with another kind of board rate or uh, another COM port, then you have to change it. Okay, we are communicating with one device only. So that's why we don't have to change anything. So that's it we can you know uh, click on done to save it okay and uh, sorry okay now we will enable this one right click node enable selected node so we are going to read the input call status from address starting address 0 to quantity 8 the poll rate is one second and function code is 2 for reading input status that's it so this will read all the input register and this debug node will display all the input register status here in the debug window. This will display the first input status. Okay. And this will display the last input status in the node status. That's it. We can, you know, press control D to deploy. Okay. Here you can see the first one is false, true, true, false, true, false. Okay. If I, you know, turn off the simulation. Okay. You can see the last one is always true okay now if i change it to off then you will see it's false okay so this is how this node read will connect with any mode based serial device it will read any data like holding register input register coil status or input coil status anything okay it's up to you what you want to read it's up to you how much you want to read okay and you have to just uh, fill the details here that's it Okay, so this is how you can use Node Red to read the input coil status of your Morbus serial RTU or RS485 device. So far, we have covered everything that how you can read a holding register, input register, coil status, and the input coil status of your Morbus serial device. You can see second last is always on, so you will see the second last is always on. After that, you can use this data for your own purpose to turn on the LED, to turn on something, to send SMS, to send uh, telegram messages to send email anything okay but i hope this thing is clear that how to use node read to read data from your Morbus serial or Morbus tcp device so in the previous videos we have covered uh, this much of topic to read the data from your Morbus tcp device and from the last three videos we have covered this much of topic to read the data from Morbus serial device okay so if you have any questions any doubt any concern then you can always ping me your uh, questions doubt and concern in the telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can send a comment on this video also you can send me a mail okay so let's meet in the next video okay and maybe in the next video we will see modbus write how to write data on your modbus tcp or modbus serial devices from the node trade okay so let's meet in the next video till then take care Goodbye and thank you.